Hi guys and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. This is the weekly Wednesday Wargaming slash Warhammer questions and answers. No, well, quite a few questions this week. But the first thing I'm going to say is it's five o'clock in the morning at the moment. I'm filming because at, at this time my little one's had an operation. So <sighs> trying to get time to do stuff is a, a little bit behind. I was meant to have the terrain build done by the weekend and it didn't happen i've got a few bits to do on it it should be finished in a couple of days but there's two bits to do to two bits of terrain for that video so anyway so the, as you guys know this is an off cuff video which means i don't edit it so i film upload it that's it and you just heard a cow mooing the other side of the wall there um quite a few questions this week last week you saw my children of chaos army uh, some really good feedback from that. Thanks, guys. One of the uh, one of the questions that was asked to me was, how do I store the big models that I have? You know, the demon princes and the great demons and all that sort of stuff. Well, there's a, a few ways you can do that. The first, what I do, is I'll take the model, I'll get bubble wrap, and I'll wrap it in bubble wrap. Okay, I don't, I don't do it as tight as possible, but I put it in so it basically wraps around the model. Then what I do is I get another bit of bubble wrap, I do the same thing again, again. But if the first piece finishes on this side, I try and have the second piece finish on that side. Yeah? So that's that's the only gaps are on on the wrap. Then what I do is I take that whole piece with the two layers of bubble wrap on it, I put it inside a carrier bag. Okay, so so now it's got handles. Right, I'm not gonna swing it around, but it's got handles. Okay, so it's easier to, to move around and I then fold that, the bag, and I place it inside a storage box. When I say storage box, I'm not talking a, a, a big storage box. I'm talking a little storage box. Um, now be aware, some of these little ones, they have the little locks on the side and they have a handle. Do not pick up by the handle because the lid will come off and a whole lot of you know. But then you, you do more and more like that and fill them up so you know that that box is full of your great demons or your demon princes or your dragons or whatever whatever big model it is and then that box only gets moved or touched shall i say when you're taking it from its home and open getting the models out to put on the table to battle then the only time it gets touched is when you're putting them away and it gets put back to where it goes um a good way of storing models because there was another question was how, how do I store those models? What I've what I've done is uh, I buy I've got games workshop model cases all that yeah. But what one thing I do is I buy foam trays from various different companies. And when you go to war gaming shows, what's that? <laughs> a war gaming show. Um, buy the, the foam trays, and I have a storage box, bigger storage box, eighty liter one. 120 litre one, that sort of thing. And then I put the trays in there with the models in. So I have a whole storage box full of demons or full of warriors or full of space marines or, or whatever it is. Um, yeah, and that's, but how do I store them then? Well, you don't want to store them in a way where you're going to keep knocking into it. If you go to somewhere like... Um, Hardware shop, okay. Not all hardware shops, but some like home base and you know places like that. Maybe even IKEA as well. They'll have uh, or B and Q comes to mind. They have these plastic racking, okay. You have the legs to go to the bottom. You have one shelf. Then you have these four, four poles, one in each corner. They go into the corners. Then there's another shelf, and so on and so forth. About 35 40 quid they're handy because you can just stack all your all your storage boxes your model carry cases on there and they're just out of the way they're not the sturdiest of things but unless you're going to start climbing up it and swinging around on it they're perfectly fine um okay next question the new imperium magazine that's coming out is it worth collecting if you if you don't play what hammer 40k? No, it's not worth you collecting it. 
if you do play 40k, yes, it is. If you play 40k but don't play the Space Marines, Ed Mech, or Sister the Bell, or the Necrons, then you play, you know, something else. It's it still could be worth you collecting it. You know, not with what I've got, <laughs> the pile of shame, but it, it could still be worth it because you don't want to. I mean, you think about yourself for yourself. You don't want to turn around and go six months time. Oh, I should have collect, like, collected that because then it's, it's too late. You know, um, well, it may not be too late because I'm sure you could back all the issues, but you ideally just want to be collect this from the beginning. This the amount of Brucey bonuses you get with it is well worth really really worth it. I saw um I can't remember what the channel is now but I saw a video yesterday from another channel and they were the first channel on YouTube to get a copy of the first edition. And I it was a good it was okay content that they done but he was a bit um flapping around the place. Okay, he was missing. I could see things on there that I was like, "Oh, read what I says, read what I says," and he, he did. He was just too excited about it. So anyway, it is yes, it's worth getting the Imperial magazine. Um, how was my pile of shame coming along? <laughs> well, I've got a squad of five Terminators here. Terminator captain. Uh, I got uh, well, one, two, three, four. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 models in Terminator armor that I'm working on here. There's a captain, a couple of captains, and all different librarian, different marines. The Terminator hacks was what I'm working on. I've got a dreadnought that I've finally just put together. Yeah. I have to be careful, this is the old lead one. So there's a few little gaps of bits that I've missed with the spray, so that's not a big issue. Yeah, just slowly, because of because I'm limited for time with little one. I'm not able to get as much on, and because of my time, I'm limited to what I can do with you know terrain. Uh, in the next, it's another five, uh, yeah, five to seven weeks, because it's been just over a week now since set up. So. Then everything should be back to normal then but it's just at the moment it's just hit and miss um someone else asked me can i do a video of just painting just working working for your pile of shame um that's something I'm, I'm thinking about i may or may not do it i'm not sure just at the moment it's not the right time for me to be thinking about that sort of thing so it's on the back burner it may may not be um <laughs> oh that's that's insane anyway guys um, I hope those questions have, I've been asked have, have answered to have helped you um, there's a few things here actually I forgot to put these on the that's my chaos hero on a dissension horse well dissension hero on a horse and here's the disc of Zench, the lead one see how it's broken on the, the flying stand yeah, I forgot to put them on my last week with the Children of Chaos. And I've got my hero on Steed that I'm working on. But, um, yeah, I forgot. And there's Mr. Man that I'm working on as well. But, um, you guys, I hope this uh, video has helped you, answered those little questions that I've been given. Uh, please hit the share, subscribe, turn your notifications. And like, it says five o'clock in the morning, it's gone five o'clock now, but uh, and hopefully things will be back to normal in the next, oh, next five to seven weeks. So guys, until next time, take it easy.